The Jim Ned Indians are in a three way tie for the district lead. I headed out to Tuscola to get the team's thoughts on what another district title will mean to them. Each game under the Friday night lights could change the course of a season. After beating Vernon 36 to 32, the Jim Ned Indians find themselves in a three way tie for the district lead. Just one win from their fourth straight district championship. Those first three wins we had were against top 10 teams at that time were big. We were sitting on a high seat, I guess, but that loss against Eastland really showed us that we weren't gods, I guess. That was a big wake up call. And since then, we've, we've addressed stuff a lot better. I mean, it makes it feel good that we still get a chance, but we still got to like fight and push through and try to get our goals still of the district champions and moving on to playoffs. The journey to this moment was filled with obstacles from early season losses to injuries to key players. They face adversity head on. The whole season just, man, it's been ups and downs, just battling through adversities. These guys come to work uh, through the good and the bad uh, and have a great attitude and, and you know we have a great relationship with them. And, and that's coaching. That's why you do it. So th that's a big thing that sticks out for sure. With a burning desire to succeed, the Indians fought their way back into contention. As far as the district title part of it, yeah, sure, we're fighting for that. Uh, but really just trying to get, get the, you know, win the next ball game, get the highest seed we can get, and get in the playoffs and make some noise. As they look ahead to the playoffs, they carry with them the knowledge that they can overcome any obstacle. The Indians host Iowa Park on Friday in this week's Game of the Week.